Today we are going to talk about the, the main bonding conductor. This is the piece of metal that uh, internally in your boat receives the connection, the grounding connection from the body, from the housing uh, of any metallic equipment that you have in your boat. You remember that picture? This is the, the, my typical picture about the bonding connection. All the metallic elements, fuel tanks, motors, transmissions, any metallic through holes, they should be connected to the main bonding conductor and the bonding conductor is connected outside with the sacrificial anodes, with the zinc, magnesium, aluminum, the sacrificial anode. This is the proper connection of the, of the main bonding conductor. The main bonding conductor in some cases is a boost bar. You remember in uh, the C rate that uh, I checked some uh, uh, months ago, it's a, it's a boost bar, big boost bar, where all the metallic elements converge. And that boost conductor is connected externally with the sacrificial atoms. Today I visit another boat with the with the bonding conductor internally completely corroded and a lot of corrosion internally in the boat. And they say, Mr. Lopez, we did a great job. We replaced the sacrificial anodes, the external sacrificial anodes for new ones. They replaced the sacrificial anode on the, on the rudder. You see the rudder, they paint the bottom perfect. They replaced the sacrificial anode on the twin tabs, on the flaps of the twin tabs. Great job, new sacrificial anodes. They are ready to replace the main uh, sacrificial anodes on the transom. They did a great job. And they said, that's it. We don't need more. This is, this is uh, the solution. With that work, we don't have more corrosion internally in my boat. And I said, OK, I hope. I hope you solved your problem with those sacrificial anodes. Can I see your boat internally? And they allow to visit the boat internally. And I found that the main bonding conductor in the starboard side, this one, completely corroded. That green color is corrosion. And additionally, I found that, that the main bonding conductor, that piece of metal, the connection with the, with the ball, this is the typical connection, this is the ball, and this is the connector, the yellow green connector that is connected with the ball. And this is the ball that passed through the transom in the other side and is connected with the sacrificial anodes. In the port side, it's in great condition like this. In the starboard side, we are moving the cable. The cable is broken. It's not connected with the ball. And of course, the sacrificial anode outside is doing nothing. It's decorative. That's not good. Additionally, I found that in that boat that the negative boost bar of the DC panel is not connected with the bonding conductor. Remember, both of them, the negative boost bar in the DC panel and the ground boost bar in the AC panel, they should be connected to the main bonding conductor. This is the only common element in between DC panel and AC panel, the bonding system. I hope this uh, uh, video is uh, useful for you. It's not only replace the external sacrificial anodes. You need to verify internally if, uh, if the boat, if the bonding conductor is in good condition. If the bonding conductor is proper connected with, the, with that ball, that ball is in a stainless steel 316L, low level of carbon. How can I verify if that ball is, is marine grade? With the magnet, should be zero magnetic, zero magnetic. If it is a little magnetic, this is not the, the proper ball for bonding system. It's not marine grade. And uh, of course, you need to calculate the external sacrificial anode. You need to uh, uh, select the proper sacrificial anode for that boat. You remember my table, my table about the sacrificial anode, correct? According with the material of the hull, according with the type of water, and according with the proportion system, if it's inboard or outboard and according with the material of the hull. With those three factors, you select the sacrificial anode using that table. In my book, my book of uh, corrosion, marine corrosion. Okay, my friend, this is very, very, very important. This is one of the steps. If you remember in other of my videos, I explained the procedure to verify the, the pedestal, to verify if the ground in the pedestal is clean. And additionally, 
you need verify if uh, the galvanic isolator is installed. And additionally, with the shear test, you need verify if internally you don't have reverse polarity. There are a lot of steps. Today, this video is concentrated only in the bonding conductor. How is the bonding conductor? Is clean my bonding conductor? Uh, is connected with the external sacrificial anode? The connection is good. The terminals are the proper terminals. Insulated terminals, marine gray terminals. I don't have humidity. I, I don't have moisture over there. This is very important. Thank you.